Hey there YouTubers. Alright, this is uh, basically part two. We did a quick BIOS overview for this motherboard. The ASRock Z590M Phantom Gaming 4 with a 10th gen chip in it. And now we've got an 11th gen chip. So the really the big difference that you're going to notice, um, PCIe 4.0 here. Uh, where will you notice that? Well, this is the spot folks right here. Uh, lower left. This M.2 slot, we can now see our Samsung EVO 980 Pro PCIe 4.0 Gen 4, however you want to refer to it. It is right here. In the 10th Gen, it would not show up, okay? So we have another M.2 here. Otherwise, is there anything different in here? Um, yeah, up here, the CPU is different, obviously. But everything else is pretty much the same. All right, let's go ahead and go over to advanced mode. Basically the overview, right? And once again, you see the 11600K in here. OC tweaker. So far, nothing is looking different in here to my eyes. But I'm just going to kind of run through these screens so you can see them. Now this, you know, being an ASRock motherboard, not the best quality. Um, it definitely limit a few features that you would find on some of the other motherboards. This one does have power limits, which is, you know, good for increasing your multi-core performance. Here's a spot to disable your turbo boost in case you want to do that. All right, I'll just move on. So, chipset configuration. Now I'm seeing PCIe in here. DMI link speed. What is this, folks? I don't know if I noticed that before, but... There's really nothing in here that appears different. All right, so back out to the next screen. Storage configuration. Same thing here. Now, once again, you can see the VO 980 Pro in here. Nothing else looks different in here. doesn't you know specifically state PCI 4.0 in the BIOS Thunderbolt just so you guys can see everything we'll go ahead and click through these USB ports you can see they're all enabled then let's make sure we did this one Yes. Did that. All right. Let's look at tools. Polychrome RGB. So in case you had ARGB connections made, you could come in here and change it. The rainbow, all that stuff, without having the uh, to use the software inside of Windows. Not gonna mess on any. Click on any of these guys. Hardware monitor. So it does feel like I missed one spot. I might go back and look for it, but um, I think it's on easy mode that it shows up. We'll go back there in a second before we exit out. You, know, you look at a different bunch of these motherboards. Most of the stuff in the BIOS is very similar. Just a matter of finding it. You wanted to put a password on it. Your boot menus. You wanted to change which drive boots first. There's where CSM is, in case you're looking for that. 
Let's go back to easy mode real quick. So this one does not appear to have it. Uh, when you have the gigabytes, it'll let you click on PCIe so you can see what cards are installed. And unfortunately, I don't see where that is in this one. It does not appear to give you that ability. But hey, that's going to do it, folks, for this video. Thanks for checking out. hope you got something out of seeing what it looks like with the 11th gen uh, versus the 10th gen. You know, obviously very, very similar, except for the fact that it sees PCIe 4.0.